Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new 2021 Lego Marvel set that's going to be set number 76168 the Captain America mech armor with 121 pieces one minifigure retailing for $9.99 USD or $10. This is the uh, second wave of the mech, uh, mech suit lines. There were three of these uh, technically four last year during 2020 and there are three more this year although there are no villains only heroes which is interesting a uh, different choice these i believe are supposed to be the replacements for the mighty micros line and honestly i like these so so much more the mechs are amazing and captain america is one of my favorites because we get both a brand new shield print there and a brand new minifigure the box is really cool i love that, that dynamic explosion from the back i think that suits the character really really well on the back of the box, we have that same kind of explosion graphic. Kind of reminds me of Avengers Endgame and that whole, you know, war zone and everything. And then there's Captain America next to his mech. And there is a really cool feature right there where you can clip the shield onto the mech. And I'll show you that later. But that's pretty much all I have to say for this box. So let's take a look at that instruction manual now and then move on to the build of the set. And here's that instruction manual, and it's much smaller than I expected, especially when compared with last year's mechs. It's one of the, it's, it's like a brand new size because it's kind of, squarish not even rectangular but it's a it's a very interesting manual we've got an expanded version of the explosion on the front cover there uh basic instructions on the inside and in the back we do have an advertisement for the other two mechs of the wave thor and miles which we will be taking a look at very soon and then advertisement for three spider-man sets one which we already took a look at the dodge charger and then the monster truck and the spider-man lair which it says launch in march but i'm pretty sure you can find this one now i won't be taking a look at those uh probably not uh, if you guys want me to uh, let me know in the comments and i might uh, i might get those sets but for now, it's just going to be uh, the mechs and then the Dodge Charger. Parts, uh, parts list right here, wind powered on the back. Not too much else to say for this instruction manual. All right, and here's the mech all built up, and it looks fantastic. I love this shield design here. It's so cool, and it can be taken off and put onto his back. I'll show you that when we take a look at the build of the mech. For now, we're going to pull out that minifigure, look at him first because he is exclusive, and then move on to the actual mech build. All right, this Captain America minifigure is fantastic. It's a brand new exclusive character for the most part. Uh, pretty much, I think only the torso print is exclusive, but it's still a brand new character. We have a very nice shield design here. It's the same from Endgame. Uh, it's the gray back with the really cool print on the front. I love that design. We have um, plain, bl plain blue legs, plain blue arms with very nice red hands and a really cool torso print on the front. And then a very nice design on the back with that belt coming all around. I love the light blue highlights on the armor as well. And that looks really, really nice. I also love the white wings on the side of the helmet, which does come off. And you can see the chin strap with him frowning on that side. And then a very happy uh, face on this side with no chin strap. There is no hairpiece included in this set, unfortunately. Although I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm honestly prefer my captain america figure with the helmet on i think that looks so much better and i really love like the red white and blue stripes underneath his chest right there coming up from the belt just in general that minifigure looks fantastic definitely my favorite part of this set and definitely worth getting the set if you don't have a new cap with that helmet or the shield this is probably the best set for you to get because it's a really good build and a very cheap way to get a very fantastic minifigure all right, now that we take a look at that minifigure, I'll show you how he slots into place here. The mech is very poseable, so you can just kind of move his arms to the side. Then this centerpiece pulls down, and then you can pull Cap right out. And there's one of those Lego friend style slot pieces where he just kind of hooks in between his legs and it can hold him in place. There's no studs or anything, so it's really easy to take and remove that minifigure. And then this piece closes up. There are no stickers in the set. That is a print, as is the shield. I figure first, I'll show you how Cap shield attaches. It's on the back of his leg right here. You can pull that off, and it just exposes the clip right there. Uh, it's built the leg is the legs are all built identically except for that small feature and i really appreciate that because it makes the set so much better it's like a everything in one set but pulling that away doesn't really change too much now there is an exposed uh four anti-studs right there and when you pull the shield off you'll notice there's a piece stuck in there and you can put the shield on cap's back by just pushing that piece in place and it goes in place just like that i think that works really really well especially for if you have him standing ready to fight the only problem is then his hand looks kind of awkward because it's filled out here and not filled out there but the shield does look really good on the back i don't have too much else to say for the mech for you know design a design standpoint because it's very very simple very burly very nice i love the articulation you can get some awesome poses in here the hands open and close the thumbs are different from the the actual rest of the fingers i think i would have preferred if they were all red and everything I, it just it just would look better or i think look better in my opinion i'm really glad we got captain america here especially because we did get iron man with the last wave and if you guys didn't know the uh, legs do come apart here and they twist around quite nicely you, know, you can't actually bend these 
you, you can't make him spend full, uh, 360 because it does lock him in place and it's really cool. I honestly have no problem with any of these mech sets. Uh, for the rating, I'd rate this set a solid 10 out of 10. It's not necessary, but I like this so much better than the Mighty Micros because it's a cheap way to get this awesome new cap figure with the helmet, new printing and everything. And the colors do look really good and I can see tons of cool customization with this. I'd love to make a full Avengers team. We already have Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man. Uh, hopefully the next wave can bring us Black Widow, Hawkeye, and Hulk. I, I wasn't originally... I didn't think we'd get like a Hulk, but I do think we can now that we have the Thor Mac because the Thor Mac is just a Thor's body built up. I, mean, I think they could do that with Hulk to some success, although I'm not sure what symbol they put in the front of his chest. Overall, guys, this set's great. I definitely recommend it. It's one of my favorite mechs simply because it, it's such a cool, crisp design and it feels like it, it fits. It looks really, really good. I have no flaws in anything. This is something I'd love to put on display. My only problem would be the thumbs right there, but that's that's like a nothing problem and that can be easily corrected. That's all I really got for today's video, though, guys. It's a pretty short one. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't picked this set up, I definitely recommend it because, uh, you know, there's no problems with it. That's everything, though. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the very next video. I want you all have a fantastic and safe rest of your day.